learning about behind the scenes at the saloon was so much fun and there's even more we haven't covered. Here's part two. We had such a ball with the behind the scenes interview at Silver Dollar City and there was so much we didn't get to share last time. So here is favorite segments, uh, things about getting their dresses ready and do they pick their colors and so much more. Let's jump into the rest of the interview with the saloon girls at Silver Dollar City. Okay, so how about some bloopers? Bloopers. Bloopers would just be kind of that same realm, you know, okay. of messing well, up. Well, because or... I, I can think of a couple I've seen. Okay, let's hear those. Uh, <laughs> Maybe, so I, yeah, I probably don't I watched one you. with you. Uh, it was opening week of the Fa La La Follies. Oh, I fell off the stairs, right? Um, or is that a different No, one? I didn't see that one. <laughs> You're outing yourself. <laughs> I, I've done that too, trust me. <laughs> uh, it was the court stenographer machine, and the stand broke. Oh, that's right. Oh my gosh, yes. And, and I'm like, <laughs> holding it up. <laughs> my first thought was, okay, is this planned? <laughs> Because I, you know, because you, know, you never you know. know. It could be. It's and then I came back the next day, and the machine was gone. <laughs> yeah, going, I was, <laughs> she broke it. <laughs> oh, I broke it. Yep, I remember that. And I was trying to get it to hold, stand up, and it's just so funny. And then if you just be really animated, you know, a lot of the yeah. folks in our audience will probably think that's part of the show. Exactly. Like you did. Yeah. You know, think, oh well. That's, well. <laughs> yeah. It's soon enough. Okay, she's playing it up, which you know you do. Yes. Because all right, I can either stare at this in dumbfoundness and then just kill everything or yes. you roll yep you roll with it you know that's kind of the beauty of this place there's gonna be moments like that you know when you have a lot of moving parts when you have props yeah it's gonna happen and because it's a comedy it kind of works so. yeah exactly <laughs> you fell down the stairs oh yeah many times actually well i fell <laughs> yeah, off if... one in the play playoffs this one back here i tripped on a cane and i just tucked and rolled all the way down the stairs and i got about 10 seconds to get out here and do the closing number and <laughs> you just get right back up and do it and it happens. <laughs> and you have so much adrenaline, I feel like you don't feel, you know, yeah. until later mm -hmm. at night, you're like, oh, that kind of hurt. Okay, a couple other questions I know that they've asked. Uh, so you're all, I've only seen you in green. Yes. So, and you were red. Yes, I'm, I was red for a long time, but this year I moved to a swing position. Okay. So they like to have red as a primary color in the show because it mm -hmm. is a really beautiful, all these colors are very yeah. like jewel toned. Uh, they pop really nice. So now this year I am pink. Pink, okay. Yeah. Because I saw the publicity photo with you in pink and I'm going, all right. Something's uh, different. Yeah, something's <laughs> different. So do you choose the color? No, they choose for us. But I will say you become very attached to yes. your color. <laughs> it was hard to let go of red. But, yeah. you know, it, it, there comes an end to everything. So, and the pink is really fun, yeah, too. Yeah, pink is lovely, too. Okay. Yeah. So I know the answer to this, but um, I've had people ask, do you take the costumes home? Do you wear them into the park? No, they actually stay here. So we come in okay. every morning, put them on, and then at night, uh, we take them off, and they are so kind to wash them for yes. us every night. Okay. <laughs> yes, our costumers are wonderful. Amazing. They make two identical sets. So we okay. have two sets, and things can happen. You know, these ru uh, ruffles they can rip. rip. That way, if you have uh, a malfunction. Yeah, straps can break, yeah. and it happens. And we go backstage, and we change, and we're ready to go. And they wash everything for us. They, they make sure. Care. Yeah, do repairs. We are yeah. very, very blessed with a wonderful yeah. costume. Yes, because I know we worked with wardrobe, which costume is a little bit different than wardrobe. Um, but our costumers over in Branson West, they have like a separate building oh, okay. where they work. So they're not actually here in park. Uh, they come back and forth, so like they make the costumes over there and uh, do like alterations and such, mm -hmm. I believe, and fittings over there. But then they come over here to check on us and okay. bring our laundry um, and see if we need anything. So between shows, do you change? Do you just stay in? We stay in it, and then at lunch we'll change out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it's so funny. We were talking about this the other day. You know, you go on stage and you're smiling and you're doing your bit and you walk right off and it's like... <laughs> Get the water, sit down, it's, and then go back on. It's the theme park. Um, I, I joke, it's the theme park face. Yes, yeah. Because you've got the on stage, the, yes. and then as soon as you hit backstage using the Disney lingo in theater, it's as soon as you hit that wall, ah, Yes, right. yeah. And, and sometimes we sit in complete silence for 30 minutes in the dressing room. All the girls just Because we're so tired. We just yep. need to break. Recharge. Recharge our battery. Yeah. Um, one of the, the funniest views I ever had when I worked at Disney was parade exit yeah. where you would watch everybody stepping off of the parade and there's a line that they would paint 
and this meant you knew exactly where the guests could see. Uh-huh. And as soon as people hit that line, it was just, <laughs> and costume right. pieces flying. Oh, yep. And yep. Yeah. They that's got same choreographed. Here. <laughs> yeah. Choreographed how to get the costumes off. We're pretty quick at it. You know, it just, yeah. you get faster and faster. It's, it's really fun. It's a great experience. Now, you had two years that you're up at the outdoor theater instead of in here because mm-hmm. of COVID. Yes. But there's not, are there aren't changing rooms up there, though, are there? There are. Okay. But we actually ended up, because of social distancing and the dressing rooms over there are not quite as big, we actually ended up changing in the playhouse, which mm-hmm. is a bit bigger of a dressing room. So okay. we did have to make a little bit of a walk across park in these. Yeah, because I know I saw you walk in the yeah. park a couple times after the show. Uh, so how was that different? Um, it was hot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, mm-hmm. I mean, everyone was outside. I mean, a lot of people still are, so nothing really right. complain about and, and blessed to be able to work <laughs> yeah, we especially just... perform when people mm-hmm. in the arts completely lost you know jobs and it yeah. was a blessing to be able to work we didn't have to meet and greet with people so we kind of lost that um, interaction with the mm-hmm. folks and we I didn't miss that but you know it was kind of a different feeling you know you mm-hmm. finish the show you go backstage you know you don't have that one-on-one time with each other before right. and after right. so that was different yeah I remember just being so grateful to be the only ones performing for yes. A couple, several months, Silver Dollar yeah, City a, was one of the only places open. So. Yeah, because yeah. a lot of Branson were shut down. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I, I will say, too, I think our performance was great outside, but the saloon itself is an attraction. When you come mm-hmm. in here, you are in the building, and you have all this amazing stuff happening all around you. You have music, you have the peanuts, and the root beer floats, and it's just not the same when you're outside. Right. But, yeah. like yeah, I said, you miss the atmosphere. Yeah, sure. atmosphere. It's like a character in itself, but... Yeah, grateful to still have the opportunity to put it on, even if it wasn't the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and a lot of folks got to see it that way, too, because some people don't really want to wait in line. Mm-hmm. So, yep. they, you know, they saw it, and they're like, well, what is that? And now maybe they're coming back to the show. So that was a way to yeah. really open them up to get to see it. Mm-hmm. So they could just pass by and yeah. peek in as they were walking outside. Yeah, uh, my wife was one. My wife was raised very conservative, and just the idea of saloon is... <gasps> um, but she saw you outside. Oh, and so, see that exactly yeah. we've had yeah. a lot of people like that and they say oh well this is a great show and it has a lot of fun for all ages mm-hmm. and so i think that was a really cool experience yeah kind of reverting back you know you're both married how do your husbands feel about you being in the show my husband loves it he grew up coming to the saloon so when i told him i got the job he started screaming and freaking out he was so excited my life's gonna be a saloon girl yes. <laughs> he wears green he's my to come number one fan. On. Yes, yeah. he has multiple green silver dollar city t-shirts That's so funny. i could not ask for a better supporter <laughs> nice. my husband's the same way he loves it very very proud i mean i've been a dancer my whole life so it's just when we met he knew that was the case and yeah very supportive Awesome. You know, after show, because um, you meet and you all sit up on the bar. And we do have mm-hmm. some people that are, I would maybe call super fans of the saloon, and they are wonderful. We've mm-hmm. gotten to know mm-hmm. them, and uh, they kind of feel like family at this point. And they come back, whether it's multiple times a week when they're here, or multiple times a day when they visit. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, and it's really cool to get to know those people. Yeah. So, Silver Dollar City definitely has a very um, enthusiastic core group of people that are here all the time. Mm-hmm. And yeah, when we we're on the train, we would know them first name basis. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, how do you do? And so, yeah, I imagine you see that a lot. For sure. Favorite segment of the show that you've done, whether you're doing it now or you've done it in previous shows, you have one, that, one or two that stand out. Yeah, I mean, I was really excited last year to get to do Wild Women. Mm-hmm. I know that's a mm-hmm. super iconic number in the show, and you get to dance and kick on the bar. So. <laughs> I was super excited to get to do that one. It's probably one of my favorites. It's just so like saloon at heart. It is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've really enjoyed Wild Women in the Can Can. I've enjoyed getting to play this role or uh, Rosie Roots and different uh, shows. It's just mm-hmm. been a different aspect of a character and it's been really fun. Um, also, great moments are just spending the day with these wonderful ladies and growing our friendship and having so much fun that we forget we're at work. So, no segments though that stand out for you necessarily I, I mean this 50 years number that's brand new this year mm-hmm. it's a really beautiful fun number that kind of encompasses all the shows into one i think that's really neat and it's kind of a new thing you know we've done something with the feathers before we've had our share of bad guys the murphy comes to mind we've had our share of goofballs charlie's dumb 
of song and dance. Every now and then, even Charlie would prance. But we really created a lot of pictures, and it's just kind of something different from what you see with the swaying of the skirts. I really mm -hmm. enjoyed that. Um, I love Mean Murphy. That's one of my mm -hmm. favorite shows. I think it's very well written. I mean, they all are, but that one's just really fun with our characters, Choctaw Charlie, Mean Murphy. Yep. I remember when uh, you had a certain couple that were here working, and uh, one was playing Mean Murphy. Yeah. And uh, a wife was the saloon owner, plucking his leg hairs out at the end of the show. Yes. <laughs> Classic. Yes. Sometimes you grab that. a real hair just to mess with them. Well, yeah. and I saw that a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's neat watching you all have a lot of fun together. Um, if you could, so if somebody wanted to know, how would you get a job? What should they do? You know, if they want to do something like this, how do they prepare? Practice those kicks. <laughs> Stretch your legs. But most importantly, you just need to be a great person to work with because we are in this little tiny building all day long with five shows a day. So the most important thing is being a hard worker and uh, just happy and positive and uh, being willing to be part of the family. Yeah. And I believe if they are interested, they can go to silverdollarcity.com slash job Jobs, opportunities. Something like that. Yeah, and they post auditions usually around August for the Christmas season and then for the next season, usually in December time. Mm -hmm. So always be checking up on that audition. Yeah. Don't give up if you're really interested. Keep coming back. Keep showing up. They usually want you to sing and then maybe show a little bit of dancing. Or if you're more of an actor, you can do that as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, keep coming. Coming to those auditions, this is a great place to work. So I would recommend it for anybody out there that's interested. Anything else you'd like to share or close with? I would just say come see us. Come yeah. see this 50th year celebration at the saloon. We are celebrating 50 years of fun and laughs and high kicking, root beer floats. So get out here, bring your whole family because there's something for everybody here. Thank you so much, ladies. Yes, thank I, you. I very much appreciate it. Um, so Silver Dollar City Saloon, multiple mm -hmm. times a day, you gotta come. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah. It's one of the icons of the park. There's certain things I tell people, if they come to the park, you gotta see the cave, you gotta ride the train, you gotta go on fire in the hole, you gotta visit the saloon. <laughs> so. Yep, come on yeah. out, we'll be here. <laughs> Once again, I wanna give a huge thank you to Maddie and to Heather for agreeing to sit down with me and talk about what it's like to do their jobs and to Silver Dollar City for giving us this amazing opportunity. It was so much fun. Be sure to leave a comment below for the girls and me. Let us know what you thought of it. Would you like to see more things like this? Don't forget to hit that like button. Share that video out there and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you again to my patrons and my supporters who make videos like this possible. I couldn't do it without y'all. Thank you so incredibly much for watching. God bless. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know your thoughts, your comments, your suggestions, your ideas. Be sure to share them in the comments below, or you can contact me. There's information in the description that has my email address, fan pages, information about merchandise, and so much more. So be sure to check that out. Don't forget to hit that like button, share the video, and if you haven't already, hit the button right up there to subscribe. And in fact, if you did enjoy this, I've even got another video for you right here. And also about these wonderful people here, those are my YouTube members and my patrons, the ones whose financial support makes this possible. I couldn't do it without them. If you want to know more about that and the perks that come with it, well, be sure to check the description. There's a link right down there. Thank you so incredibly much. God bless.